Hey everybody, this is Eric with Phone Scoop, and today I want to give you a quick video tour of three handsets from LG, all three of which are being sold by Boost Mobile, the G Stylo, the Volt 2, and the Tribute 2. All three handsets run Android 5.1 Lollipop and include LG's user interface skin on top, which makes all three of them nearly identical from a software perspective. You will see that they are different sizes. The G Stylo is a bit of a phablet. The Volt 2 is a mid-sized, mid-range handset. And the Tribute 2 is an entry-level handset. Here's a quick look at each. The G Stylo is a phablet, has a 5.7 inch 720p HD screen, which gives it a sizable footprint. I like the plastic styling here. You can see if I uh, get some light to shine on it. You'll see it has like a metallic finish to it, but of course this is actually plastic. In keeping with LG designs, there are no buttons along the left and right sides, and instead they are all positioned here on the back. We have this tri-cluster here. We've got the camera module and then the volume toggle, which is split in half by the screen lock button. We have laser-assisted focus for the camera and flash here is the LED flash main camera rates 8 megapixels. Speaker phone is here, micro USB port on the bottom, and the headphone jack is on top, as well as the stylus. Stylus is all right, it's, uh, situated in here pretty tightly. You can pull it out with a uh, little bit of help from your fingernail. The big screen is nice. Uh, I thought it was nice and bright and comfortable to look at even when outside. And the Snapdragon processor, it's a Snapdragon 410 processor, quad core, 1.2 gigahertz, did a good job with this phone and keeping it moving along quickly. Next up is the Volt 2, which is a mid-sized handset, has a 5-inch 720p HD screen, which helps keep the footprint in check. This phone is much easier to hold and use than the G Stylo. Still a little bit on the thick side, I happen to like the design, has a nice metallic finish to the rear shell here that you can see. And as always, we've got this configuration of buttons on the back, which includes the camera, which is eight megapixels by the way, volume toggles, screen lock button, and LED flash. This does not have a laser assisted focus like we saw in the G Stylo. Nothing along the left side, bottom side has the micro USB port, Nothing along the right, and of course the top has the headphone jack. This phone uh, has decent battery life, call quality could be better, and the camera only produced average results, but it's not a bad value at 150 bucks. The Tribute 2 is the smallest of these three phones. It has a 4.7 inch screen with 854 by 480 resolution. Screen's okay, not the best, considering this is a $99 handset though, I guess I could live with it. I genuinely like the design. Uh, I think this is a really nice shade of blue, and I think the way LG treated the cluster here is a little bit nicer than on the other phones. It's, it's built into the rear shell of the phone instead of a separate module that's buried underneath. Got the five megapixel camera, LED flash, and of course volume toggles and control. Nothing along the right edge, micro USB port on the bottom, nothing along the left, and of course headset jack on the top. This phone has a Snapdragon processor like the others. Um, it wasn't that quick. Uh, for whatever reason, this phone felt a little bit more bogged down than the other two. The VGA user-facing camera is pretty poor quality, as is the main camera, uh, which I'd say is below average. This phone had okay battery life, but qual call quality uh, was quite bad and data performance was not the best. So that's the LG Tribute 2, part of LG's extensive lineup of handsets for Boost Mobile. And here's the uh, family shot. This is the Volt 2, Tribute 2, and a G Stylo. Uh, 